Okay everyone, I'm going to put together a short tutorial on how to load photos into your Canvas discussion area. Uh, I'm basically going to show you three different techniques. The biggest issue uh, that we have with a uh, Canvas discussion area is that the images can be too large to where it takes a long time for everybody to scroll through a discussion area. So I want to show you three different ways that you could possibly handle this to very uh, very efficiently add photos to a discussion area. So the first thing is I'm going to recommend that you make sure you have your three photos for your introduction into a folder. Just call it the 126 class introduction. And the, one of the simplest ways to do this would be to actually uh, launch a Microsoft PowerPoint and make a PowerPoint slide that has your images. Uh, and that way we can combine the three images on a single graphic file. So I'm going to launch PowerPoint. And as you can see, I have the lecture from uh, earlier class that uh, it remembers uh, me working on. I'm going to go ahead and go up here and make a new presentation. And I'll just call this my class introduction. Give it my name. And then I'm going to go to um, adding a new slide. And I'm just going to add a new blank slide. Or actually, I'm going to use a title only slide. That'll be easier. So I'll go to a new title slide. And I'm just going to put my name on it. Okay. Now I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to, now I'm going to select the picture icon and select the picture from file. And let me just move this whole thing up here so we can see it. I'll close this out of here. So I'm going to go picture from file. Go to my desktop where I created that temporary folder. And I'm going to add the first image. And I can just move that off to the side here. Now, if it came in larger, it, if it was a really large file, it might come in something like this. What do I do if I have that situation? Well, one of the things we can do is we can downsize our screen or we can maximize PowerPoint and see what that does for us. Um, there we go. And there it allows me to see everything. Or if I didn't do that and I was dealing with this large screen, I would actually just shrink this down maybe 75 percent to where I can grab the handles and hold down the shift key and the shift key allows the proportions to stay the same as the original file is. So I'll put that image there and I'll shrink it down a little bit more because I know I'm going to make room for uh, the other images. So now I'll go ahead and uh, go back and just click off to the side and go back and put my other image in here. Go back to my desktop and pick the next image. And I'll just bring that over here. And in fact, I can resize it and make it. We're kind of doing a layout, really, uh, which is part of uh, creating presentations for our work anyway. So it's a good skill to have. Go to the next one. bring this one over here okay so now I'm going to go ahead and save this it's always a really good idea to save your work I'm going to save this and I'll just put this in my folder on the desktop and I'll just call this my introduction photos and in fact it's a really good idea to put your last name underscore and if you're working on a PC it's a good idea to use underscores for your file names and I'll hit save and now I've got that in there now what I can do is I'm going to actually take and adjust these just a little bit 
closer to move this off to the side just a little bit. Spaces look a little more accurate. I can use the arrow key just to make left and right arrow key and adjust that. Okay, now I've got a couple of options here. I could actually change my theme and reverse everything, but I actually think white works best to be able to see these particular images. But feel free to adjust either. Generally, these two themes are the only two I would ever use for this class because the worst thing I could tell you is that I love the colors of your background. Uh, we want to talk about your photography. Anyway, real simple. I'm going to go to File and Save as Pictures. And I'm going to save it into that uh, as a JPEG. And I'll hit Save. And I've got it selected in my Class Introductions folder. Save as JPEGs. And I'll hit Save. And it actually created a JPEG file for each slide. Now I'm only going to use the one JPEG file, but that's OK. So now I'm going to go into Canvas and pull up my introduction here, but actually I have to do um, something first because if I go into embed image right here it's going to say do you have something on a URL so maybe I could grab something off my uh, Facebook page but I have to go to canvas and I don't have any of my images in here so there's an extra step that we have to go through which I'm sorry uh, it's just the way canvas is set up up in the upper right um, I will go to my name and click on my name and I'll go to files and this is my personal area where I can upload files I can create different folders and in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and create a new folder and I'm going to call this 126 for the course number. Now I'll click on that folder and I'll hit the upload button and I'll go to my class introduction and there's the photos and I really just need slide one was just the name of the presentation slide two is the photos and I'll hit choose okay now that's there I can go back to my courses photo 126 and go to my assignments go to my class introduction and now I just hit the reply button and I get an editor right here where I can type in my introduction I can type up my introduction I can hit the embed image command and now when I go to canvas I can go to my files pull up my class folder and there's that image slide in there and I can control the dimensions on this um, right now what's nice about this is it's exported a small enough file at only 720 pixels wide uh, it will place it in there at a reasonable size so I'll go ahead and hit update and there's my images right there and I can actually center it on the discussion area all right, so that was the PowerPoint uh, version of this. I'm now going to close that up, and I'm going to show you a more straightforward way of doing it, or I w I'd say it's a different way of doing it, not necessarily a better way of doing it. Um, but that is, I'm going to go uh, straight into Canvas. I'm going to click on my name again. I'm going to click on my files. and I'm going into the 126 folder 
and I'm actually going to create a new subfolder and just call this introduction photos. I'll go into that folder and I'll hit upload and I'm going to upload and I'm going to shift click and choose those three fold, uh, photos and by shift clicking it's uploading all three of the images at the same time and now I can go straight to my discussion area so I'll go to our class photo 126 I'll go to my assignments and I'll go to the class introduction assignment and again I'll hit the reply button and I'll get the editor and I can say hi everyone and uh, and type that but now I can go in and hit the embed image button go to canvas my files and I'll go into the 126 I'll go into the intro and I'll click on the first image but now I really don't want that image to be 800 by 1200 uh, pixels. That will just be way too large. It'll take forever for everybody to uh, download those image files and scroll through all the discussion board. And I want everybody to see each other's work. So the best thing I would recommend doing is making this uh, this longest dimension. Let's make it about 600 pixels and hit the tab key and so you'll notice it resizes to 400 by 600 pixels. I'll hit update. And now that first image is in there and I can pull this screen down to see it. And as it is, it's still pretty big. And I'll put the second image in there. Back to canvas. It remembers where I was. And I'll change the maximum to a 600 pixels. And there, that's in there and now I'll put in the third image and I can see it's going to take a lot of space and in fact I could resize these down by grabbing it if I hold down the shift key it should hold the the proportions there we go okay make those a little bit smaller because we just want to be considerate of everybody. We want to get them about the same size. So that's good. And now I can add the third one in here. Grab this third file. And I'm going to guess it's about 400 pixels tall. Nope, I was wrong. I made it a little bigger. So I can always resize it a little bit there and now I've got my three images there and scroll down enough to see the post reply and I'm done there so that's another way of doing this okay we're gonna start one last uh, quick and dirty method for grabbing our three images and posting it I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this I'm actually going to take this introduction folder and drag it onto an Adobe Bridge icon and in fact if you don't have um, we use both you'll notice on my dock here that I use Bridge and Lightroom and the reason I like both is because Bridge does not require me to import the files to be able to look at them I could just use it as a quick file browser and so I will use Bridge in, uh, all the time just intermittently to look at files without importing them in. So I'm going to grab that and drag it over to my dock and what that'll do is open up those files and you'll see them right here. Now if you don't have Bridge on your dock, let me just close that for a moment. If I go to and you'll notice my dock is over to the right side of my screen. I always find that my dock gets in the way on the lower uh, bottom part of the screen. So I go into preferences and do, do actually uh, let me get out of this. I go to Apple system preferences and I go to my dock 
and I like to have the genie effect turned on and I like to hit the position right and it gets that dock out of the way okay and then the other thing I do is I go into applications and you know I'll just take this off the dock so you can see that oh it's not letting me because I'm recording a movie right now but just so you know you can go into your Adobe bridge and drag that icon to the dock and it will add it there which makes it really easy there we go makes it really easy to click and drag folders of images over to take a quick look at them now what I want to be able to do is take these images and I'm going to shift click those three images and what I'm going to do now is I've got all three of them displayed here. I'll move them up so you can see them a little more clearly. And I can actually uh, shrink them up or make them smaller, whatever I want to do by scaling. But typically what I'll do is I'll just go and hit the Command, Shift, and the number 4 key on a Mac. Turns my cursor into a crosshair it allows me to do a screen grab and I will just grab all three of those images just like that. Now what that's done is you'll notice over here it created a desktop screenshot PNG file which is a file format uh, that's very comparable to a GIF file uh, only it has the full color resolution. It's a small file format um, and it's a very easy thing now to go into Canvas, go to my name again, go to my files, go to my class, and I'll just go ahead and upload that one PNG file by going to the desktop and there is my images right there those three image files it's not real pretty to have the the gray background but it's a quick and dirty way for a class discussion to be able to do this so I'm going to go ahead and go into photo 126 and look at that actually you will notice on the right it tells me what assignments are due and so I will go ahead and do class introductions hit the reply button again I can do my typing give it a little bio and I'll go to embed image canvas my files and there's that screenshot image and again I'm gonna shrink that down to probably no more than a thousand pixels wide and hit update and there's those three images very quick and dirty way of showing multiple images okay I'll hit cancel that we'll go back home and that is a short tutorial on how to add multiple image files to a discussion board